Oh, welcome, ladies and gents. We've got our first look at the return of the Batwing, courtesy of a toy for the Flash. This is, of course, a Flash movie. I don't know how many people are interested in this film, and I'm not going to make an assumption, but what I'm going to do is actually ask you, with DC phasing everything out that, that came before James Gunn taking over the role, do you think that is there something you're interested in? Do you care? Are you going to be here day one? Now, obviously, this will be an interesting response because, of course, a lot of you guys will be clicking on this video because you want to know news about The Flash. But are you particularly interested now? Are you as keen as you were before? I'm curious. Because, of course, now we know that Michael Keaton, that's a dead end as well. And this is part of that. This was the hype for The Flash. I do feel like perhaps they have shot themselves ever so slightly. Uh, in the foot, but hey. So a new toy for The Flash has been revealed and offers a first look at Batman's Batwing, the iconic vehicle that Michael Keaton's Cape Crusader last flew into action with in Tim Burton's Batman Returns. Again, like I say, like I'm one of these people that's fairly keen on Michael Keaton returning. I just don't really think this is that. Interesting. Now we know he's not returning proper. He's just making a you know a brief appearance, as it were. And I always like the Batwing. I mean, you know, I remember the Batwing from uh, Batman the Animated and just how cool it was. Uh, and then also in uh, Batman Beyond, or maybe I'm getting them muddled up, but I remember it distinctly in Batman Beyond, and it was badass, super super cool. So of course, merchandise is actually one of those things which. Reveals a lot about the film. We learn a lot about the Monsterverse films. With their merchandise leaks. So new merchandise for The Flash has found its way online. Because they can't keep this hidden. They can't keep it hidden at all. Uh, it's, nothing, it's just there. You know, People can just take photos of it if it's in a, a warehouse. There's no one to sue with uh, NDAs. But while Ben Affleck of course will be suiting up as the Cape Crusader again in... The Flash, the main selling point for the vast majority of people was Michael Keaton coming back. And apparently getting the lion's share of screen time. But he doesn't get that much screen time, from what I know. But of course he would find himself in a new reality, created by the fastest man alive's trip back in time. And with that in mind, you won't be shocked to see the Batwing. Which is of course more the Batwing, not Batman vs Superman's Batwing. So, we'll scroll down, scroll through this. And, I mean, this is it. This is the Batwing. It doesn't look that great. Like, it looks fine. It's not exceptional. It's fine. It's one of those things that you look at and you go, okay. I mean, I would. this is one of those things I'd actually be more inclined to buy if the Flash wasn't in, in the packet. <laughs> you know? But because he is, you look at it and you're like, ah, that's a shame. Why is he involved? Why is he there? You know, what's he? What's he doing there? Why? Well, I'm not really that interested in having him as part of the uh, packet uh, there. But look, whatever. Um, now we don't know anything about this film yet. I mean, again, cool. Be better if it was more like this, wouldn't it? That'd be sick. Uh, but never mind. Again, as a toy, I don't want to own it. And I quite like a toy. I like quite like a figure. This actually, funnily enough, if you look at it, it looks like it's been. Uh, on like a an advertiser's table where they're having a meeting to talk about how the f do we advertise this goddamn film with the groomer as the lead. But never mind. Uh, anyway, this is a film we don't really know anything about. Specifically. Like, I've had leaks, but then there's so many rumours and rumblings about what was revealed in those leaks being now scrapped uh, and just how they're going to sort of move things forward. It, is, it seems to be a big mess. And I always think um, that this is one of those films that they should use to actually do their reboot. We, we don't know if that is the case. They might, they might do it, but I don't, I, 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 don't know if, um, I don't know if that is the case moving forward. It seems to me that they are going to just be doing a, a straight up harsh cut. Um, but also, how do you promote this film? You know, promotion seems to now be marketed towards normies. You know, it looks like it's going to be normies that this is uh, marketed towards. 
They're doing a massive push, probably about $10 million worth uh, of advertising just on one trailer, one time, and that's for the Super Bowl. Because that's when the trailer will debut. Then they have an arrangement, supposedly, that the trailer will then be put alongside in front of Ant-Man and the Wasp and Quantumania. So they seem to be targeting this primarily at Normies, the Super Bowl. Because how do you market this film with, the, with Ezra Miller, The Flash? I mean, they don't seem to be talking about it. It seems... That they've just... I mean, and it's not its not James Gunn's fault or Peter Safran's. They've inherited this problem. It's not, in fact, even uh, David Zaslav's fault. You know, this is a problem that they've inherited and they have to obviously deal with it. But it's unlikely. Anyway, Keaton moving forward will be in anything. It looks like he's been written out of Aquaman um, and the Lost Kingdom. Or Ben Affleck's been written out. There's opposing rumours there. Uh, and it does seem that Ezra Miller moving forwards, hopefully, he's not going to be in anything moving forwards. There are some good things about wiping everything clean. Starting fresh is a good idea, but this is a film that they should have used to wipe everything clean. And just go out with a big bang, you know, have everyone come back. But look, it looks alright, I guess. Maybe. I've seen better toys, and having... Groomer boy here as part of it. it doesn't make me that interested. You know, it doesn't make me really that invested in it. It looks fine, I guess. Looks like the uh, top flips up there. I never liked his outfit either. And he looks like he's as big as Michael Keaton's Batman. <laughs> which is not cool. I uh, can't really read what it says either, which is a shame. But yeah, it looks like Michael Keaton uh, isn't going to be in anything moving forward. So are you interested in this? Like I said at the start, I'd love to hear it. Let me know down below in the comments. Is this something that you are going to be watching opening week? Um, and if not, tell me why. What is it? And were you going to? Is it that they're doing a, a, a harsh cut reset that's put you off? Love to hear it, so let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe, give the video a like. And I will say this, please do check out the second channel. It's a live stream channel. We've got guests and things like that. Um... You'll find that linked in the description box. Miss H Reviews, live archives. Love to have you there. But until then, take care.